Matt here from Podweb Hosting with a guide that covers the basics of PHPBB, a powerful free message board software. Before doing anything, let's first try to log on to the administrator account which was created when you first installed the PHPBB software on your website. With this administrator account, we can now access the administrator control panel by logging in. This control panel can be found at the bottom of the front page of your forum. This is the administrator control panel, from which we can manage our message board. Let's start by going to the Forums tab at the top of the page and creating a new forum. On this forum, users will be able to post topics and reply to others' topics with their own thoughts. Enter the name of your new forum, which is usually the subject of matter discussed within the forum itself. For this video, I'm going to create a simple general discussion forum, which as indicated by its name is for general discussions. Here we now see the settings for our new forum. If you so choose, you can create a password for this forum to limit outside access. Once you are finished configuring your forum, simply press the Submit button at the bottom of the page. Now you will need to configure who can access your forum and what permissions they will have on that forum. This is a tedious yet important process to managing your forum. As you can see, there are varying levels of access you can give to the different types of users on your forum. One of the most basic things to do is to decide what registered users can and can't do on your forum. When you are finished, hit the Apply All Permissions button. Our new forum is now displayed at the front page. Returning to the main forums page, we can now see the fruits of our labor. Unfortunately, our new forum does not yet have any posts in it. Let's create a new topic that users can post in. After pressing the Submit button, users are free to comment on our post. Our new topic is now displayed.
Not everyone will share their thoughts in the way that we feel is appropriate. We can remedy this situation by returning to the Administrator Control Panel. Under the Quick Access section of the Administrator Control Panel, we see a Manage Users link. Before we do anything, we need to first find the user we wish to manage. One of the most basic methods of solving this problem is to delete the user. Pressing the Submit button confirms this action and permanently deletes the user. 